question 26 says, what is the sum of vertices and faces in a triangular pyramid? Now, um, if you know your triangular pyramid, I don't know how good I can draw it for you to understand it. But this is what your triangular pyramid looks like. So you have this side. Then you have here. Okay. So now, where are the vertices? The vertices are this point. This is vertice 1, vertice 2, vertice 3, and vertice 4. So it has four vertices. Now, where are the faces? Now, because this is a triangular pyramid, based on the triangle here, it's going to have how many faces? This will be 1, this will be 2, the back of this will be 3, and the down part of this triangle here will be 4 faces. So automatically, it has what? 4 faces and 4 vertices. So that will be a total of, when you sum it up, it will give you 8. So the correct answer here, it's 8. Okay? So, um, going to question um, 27 says, The pie chart below shows how Demo spends his monthly salary on food, clothing, fees, transport, and savings. If he spends 6,000 6, shillings on clothing, how much money does he spend on food than feeds? Okay, so now, let's check. How much, if he spends 6,000 on clothing, how much money does he spend on food than fees? Now, clothing was mentioned there, so he spent 6,000 on clothing. But if we check, the degree for clothing was not given. So we need to look for that. So the first thing we do, we say 360 minus, we we'll sum up the remaining. That's 30 plus 25 plus 130 plus 115. That will give us for what? Clothing. That's for clothing. So this will be, um, well, we sum it up, it's going to be 30 plus 25 will give us um, 55 plus 115 plus 130. This will be 0, carry 1. This will be 6, 7. This will be another 0, carry 1. So this will be 300. So clothing alone will be 360 minus 300. And that will give us what? 60 degree. So this is 60 degree. Now, to get the total money he had for his budget to be 60 over 360 multiplied by the amount, the total amount, that was what gave him what? 6,000. So 60 here is 1 into 360 will be what? 6. So x over 6 is equal to what? 6,000. So his total money he had was what? 6,000 times 6. And that was what? 36,000 shillings. So it was actually 36,000 he was able to share in several degree and um, degree. Okay, so now we know that the question says how much money does he spend on food than fees? Okay, so for food, food will now be what's the degree of food? It's 130 over 360 times 36,000. Okay, so um, 360 here is 1, 360 into 36,000 will be 100. So for food, food gave him 130 times 100, that's 13,000. Then fees was, fees is 115 over 360 times 36,000. Okay, so 360 here is 1, 360 here will give us what? 100. So fees gave a total of 11500. So they said how much does he spend more? So we'll do 13,000 minus 11500 and that will give us our final answer. So 0 cancel minus 0, 0 minus 0 is 0. Borrow 1 from here. That will be here will remain 2. 10 minus 5 will be 5. 2 minus 1 will be 1 and 1 minus 1 will be 0. So he will spend 1,500 more. Um, so that's our final answer. And that will be what? A. Question 29 says, The marked price of a wheelbarrow is 8,600 shillings. That's 8,600 shillings. Abash was given 8.5% discount, while Asha was given 7% discount for a similar wheelbarrow. 
how much money was received as discount by Abach and Asha all together. Now, if you've been following us, we've talked about several questions on discount, and we say discount is actually the amount given to you to actually reduce the amount you spend on a good. It's like the person who is selling the goods is trying to take away some money for you. So, for instance, if you're supposed to buy some cubes of sugar for 100 naira and you were given 10% discount, it means 10 naira will be subtracted for you. So, you can just buy it for, what, 90 naira. So, now, all we need to do is, what was the total discount given? It was 8.5 plus 7. And that gave us a total of, what, 15.5% discount was given. So, how much was received? Remember, they were supposed to pay 8,600. So, how much discount did they get? So, the discount they got was actually 15.5% of 15.5% of 8,600. So, let's find that. 15.5 over 100 times 8,600. Now, double zero cancel what? Double zero. So, we have what? 15.5 that um, 15 and a half will be, this will be um, 2 times 15, 30 plus 1, 31. That will be 31 over 2 times what? 86. Now, 2 here is 1. 2 into 86 will give us 4 and 3. So let's do 31 times 43. 43 times 31. This will be 43. 3 times 3, 9. 3 times 4, 12. This is going to give us 3, 4 plus 9, 3 plus 1, 3 and 1. So that means 31 times 43 will be, it will be 1, 3, 3 shillings. So our correct answer here, it's going to be C. So question 30. Now th question 30 says, Wakesho collects 150 eggs daily from her poultry. She sells the eggs at 9 shillings each. How much money did she make in the month of February 2008? Okay, now to solve this question, if Wakesha collects 150 eggs daily from her poultry, it happens daily, and she sells the egg at 9 shillings each. Okay, so that means 150 eggs um, at, and she sells the egg at 9 shillings each. So to get the total money she made for the day, daily income, Let's shift this. So, now, her daily income, daily income will be 150 times 9. So, when we multiply 150 by 9, we'll get 0. 9 times 5 is 45. 5 carry 4. 9 times 1 is 9 plus 4. That will be 13. So, her daily income was... Um, one three five zero shillings. Now, how much did she make in the month of February 2008? Now, you remember February has how many days? It's 28 days, except for a leap year that's what 29 days. Now, how do you know leap years? Leap years are actually divisible by four. That's one of the secrets I'm teaching you now. Like 2020 was actually a leap year, now 2016 was a leap year. 2012 was a leap year. Now, that will let you know that 2008 was a leap year. So, always count in four years. For instance, 2000 was a leap year. 2004 was a leap year. So, 2008 would also be a leap year. And in a leap year, 2008 is a leap year. And a leap year, in a leap year, you have 29 days. So, you have the 29th day of February. So, we're going to multiply because... Every day, in one day, she made, uh, Wakesho made 1350 shillings. That means in 29 days, it will be 29 times 1350. So let's multiply 1350 by 29. So 9 times 0 is 0, 9 times 5 is 45, carry 4. 9 times 3 is 27 plus 4, 31, carry 3. 9 times 1 is 9 plus 3, that's 12. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 5 is 10. Carry 1. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1, 7. 2 times 1 is 2. So we we'll sum it up. We have 0, 5, we we'll have 1. 2 plus 7 is 9. And 1 plus 2 is 3. So the final answer is going to be 39, 150 
shillings. So the correct answer here is B. Okay, so please, like I said, if you've not hit the subscribe button, do hit the subscribe button because we will be releasing several videos. So just stay tuned as we continue.